today we're going to be looking at the business cycle. So first I would like to label it. So right here, this is our peak. This, when the business cycle is going downwards, is our recession. And this is our trough. Up here, as we're moving upwards towards the next peak, this is expansion. This is our peak. And moving downward, this is recession. Okay, so the business cycle essentially looks at how the real GDP increases over time. This is our line of best fit, and this really represents full employment. And this shows as time increases. So our main sources of growth, there's only three, which are an increase of input of resources, increasing productivity, and increasing economic growth. Over here, when we're in a recession, there's a decrease in economic growth. So this is showing that our GDP is decreasing. So here we have unemployment. At this, um, at the line of best fit, the, this way here, over here, we have full employment. And then as we're expanding, this is inflation. So when we have two consecutive quarters of negative growth, it is considered a recession. And additionally, the length of a business cycle will vary based on the change of spending and changes in productivity. It's also important to consider in macro, we study things like uh, fiscal policy and monetary policy. Well, what those are used to do is to modify this business cycle because ideally this line at full employment is where we want to be. So fiscal policy and monetary policy is used to mitigate almost this cycle so that these extremes are less extreme and they are closer to this line. So society is working to get closer to this line and when we're um, increasing productivity and increasing time uh, growth, we can see that this line is going upward because we hope that full, em full employment will increase as time progresses.